Hey guys and welcome to TTB The True Brits here with your boy Ricky and this is episode one of uh, Black Ops training here on launch um, and the goal really is to give you guys some tips, some training, uh, help you guys out. It's not really for people that you know have like 2's and 2.5's uh, really for people that are struggling to get positive KD's and whatnot. And I'm not going to be focusing on domination. It's going to be more about TDM uh, because TDM really is, you know, about surviving, about keeping a a positive KD. So hopefully these videos will help you guys out. Now we're starting on launch, and uh, the uh, classes that I'm going to be showing you guys, I've got four different ones, three ones that I'd recommend and one that I wouldn't recommend. And I'm just going to be talking about, you know, what to do. Now, here I'm kind of staying at the back of the map. Launch is a very difficult map because it's, you know, kind of big. I mean, it's kind of medium size. But if you see, I'm staying this side of the map, um, making sure that, you know, if someone comes from behind like that, I can uh, pop out and, you know, spray and kill them. Now, I'm playing on combat training put it on hardened so it shouldn't be too easy but uh, not too difficult because online you know it's a mixed bag and I wanted to give you guys some gameplay that would help um, and like I said right here you know you can get behind people if you stay in these kinds of areas um, now here I'm I'm not even gonna bother with it you know there I could have gone one-on-one -on -one, but you know he's probably gonna get me and right here you're able to use cover um, and cover is the key guys make sure you've always got some kind of cover behind you I mean people call camping camping you know what you you do what you need to win um, now TDM is all about survival and the fact is it doesn't matter if you go 3 and 2 or 4 and 1 it's better than going 8 and 10 or 7 and 12 uh, for your team so play smart um, and hopefully this video will give you guys some tips on how to play launch. Uh, right here, once again, I'm not going to bother with him. I'm probably going to die otherwise. Uh, rolling with a Strella because you know I can take out counter spy planes like this. Um, the kill streaks I have on uh, are three, four, and seven. I've got a spy plane, a Sam turret, and a attack chopper. Attack chopper is just you know because. Most people in TDM don't always have um, air support to take things down, so you never know. Now, right here, I've, like I said, as you can see, I've got FAMAS with the dual mag for extra ammo. Um, this guy somehow killed me. Come on. Mental. Um, I've got flak jacket, which means I am pretty much cannot get blown up. Uh, sleight of hand, which obviously will help me reloading and zooming down the sights quicker. And then Tactical Mask, which is great if you have Pro. Not so much if you don't, but if you have Pro, it enables you to not get flashed. Um, you can see where people are when you flash them. And mix that with Flak Jacket, it's a pretty lethal combination. Now I'm staying this side of the map because I can see all angles. I can see people coming from in front of me, and if people do come from behind, um, which not many people do, they kind of always run through the middle here and if you do stay on either sides of the map it's going to get pretty boring and most of the time people will spawn on the other side so you're not going to be racking up any kills a few other pointers to help you guys out um, switching layouts try and switch to tactical layout so much more effective like right here just jump down boom so much more effective than um, the default layout because you can go prone I'll show you a couple of uh, drop shots soon and uh, it helps out big time you will get frustrated because you will forget that knife is circle and crouching isn't and uh, but in the long run it's it's way worth it guys so please if you're struggling try and switch it up a little bit right here I get taken out the old aimbot Anyway, moving on, class number two, another one I would recommend here. We've got the MP5 with extended mag. If you've seen my other videos, I love the MP5. Um, steady aim with lightweight and marathon. And I'm going to kind of play differently now. I'm going to run around the map. Um, I've got the ability to spray. And you'll see a couple of times where I don't even bother zooming in because there's just no need. When it comes to secondary weapons, I've got an auto pistol. I don't think I use it. But that's just in case I run out of ammo and I need to zoom in from further away. Uh, that will help you out. 
See right here, no, no, no zooming in at all. Just spraying, and then I get picked off from behind with a thermal. Brilliant. So we've got a spy plane, but they've got a counter, and that's going to happen in TDM. Right here, what I'm showing you guys is the reload animation. Check it out. I'm going to shoot, and while I'm reloading, now if I sprint, he cancels that reload animation. See it again? Reload, sprint, he'll cancel it. Very effective. Um, if you see someone and you're reloading, quickly hit L3, he'll stop that reload animation, and that will enable you to get off a few shots. And it saved me a few times, so pretty useful there. So with this kind of class, I like to call it, you know, run and gun kind of class, uh, enables you to run around more and uh, try and basically flank the opposition and uh, confuse them and catch them on the surprise. Now, you see the SAM turret there? What I did was put it right at the back of the spawn. Put it in the middle of the map, pointless. People are going to knife it straight away. And I got knife right there. Um, and always if someone does say you know if he says that your SAM turret's gone you know where they are um, so that will give you a heads up so I do enjoy this class it's it's one of these classes that on this kind of map launch it's effective it, it works uh, most of the time you're gonna get probably two kills before you die uh, which means you know you will get a positive KD and that's helping out your team and that is the most important thing stick to cover stick to the walls you know if you do have to go outside be be aware another thing I want to talk about sensitivity now I play on sensitivity 6 uh, might be a bit you know too much but uh, you know I can play on that sensitivity I've got used to it and I'm going to switch now to my M60 talk about it in a minute um, but sensitivity is key. I mean, find one that fits you. Start low, work your way up. Uh, because obviously if someone is sensitivity 10, they're going to have an advantage over you. Um, because, well, they, they can just, they can spin around quicker. They can do more things. If you're playing on a 2, you're kind of real slow. And a map like this, you've got to be kind of quick. But anyway, M60. Now, this is kind of the class that I wouldn't recommend. Uh, I'm not a fan of the M60 in these kind of maps. Now, I've put on lightweight, sleight of hand, and hacker. Lightweight to keep you moving quicker, sleight of hand to reload faster, and hacker to uh, not worry about the claymores and whatnot. Now, this is some bad aiming right here. And this is why I'm not a fan of the M60. It's, it's not the most accurate gun, but it is, you know, lethal. Um, but for this kind of map, you've got to be quick. And it's a tough, it's a tough weapon to uh, adjust and get to, uh, used to. I actually die quite a few times using this, um, but I thought I'd show you a class which you know I'm not too fond of. And uh, maybe if you are playing with an M60 and it's not, hasn't been going too well, maybe it's time to you know change it up a little bit. So I've got the grip on it, uh, you know, I like the grip, I think the, uh, oh, i got a knife there, terrible, but uh, I think the reflex scope's pretty good on it, uh, less recoil, but uh, I thought the grip, I normally don't like um, red dots and whatnot, I'm normally much better with the iron sights. Now I'm making sure, once again, I stay around this area of the map. You know, you've got you to gotta play smart, guys, there's no point running out continually dying and getting frustrated I mean at the end of the day everyone wants to get a good kill streak everyone wants to get a spy plane you know a blackbird and whatnot and if you're not confident put lower kill streaks on put three four five and uh, you know see how you do and make sure you have a spy plane because they're very useful you know, I know a lot of people have Ghost on, but not everyone has Ghost. Rarely do you meet a whole team. Look at this. Look at this for sniping. This wouldn't happen online, but boom. <laughs> and that's on Hardened. Playing on Veterans, just mental. Right here, look. That's stupid. Don't ever do that. Run straight through a corner. Showing you guys that's not a good idea. Very, very bad. But as you can see, I have all the three classes so far. The M60, I've, well, I think I've gone negative. Um, so not a great class to use in my opinion for this kind of map 
Claymore's always useful. Now the debate of, you know, should I use a Claymore, should I use a motion sensor? Um, I will always use a Claymore um, strictly for the fact that motion sensors can be a mixed bag. If someone has Hacker Pro on, you can't see them, um, obviously. But if they have Hacker Pro on and they've got Claymore's, even if they blow up that Claymore and don't die, at least you know where they are and they're behind you. Um, so that's why I will always use a Claymore. I just feel it is uh, better than a motion sensor. Maybe an S and D, but uh, for this, no. Well, that was a stupid idea. Never reload going around a corner. Bad, bad idea. All right, so the final class. We are rolling with a commando. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. A commando uh, with a silencer. Ghost, sleight of hand, and hacker. Now this is more of a stealthy class. Um, I actually do pretty good with this class. You put a silencer on, obviously you can't see on the red dot. Um, you put on ghost. Obviously people can't see you when they get spy planes. And obviously sleight of hand and then hacker because you could be running around for quite some time. Now right here I thought they were coming up. Turns out they were right behind me and that is bad awareness. Terrible. But anyway, right here. Now, right here, I didn't want to shoot him because I didn't want to give away my position, but this is terrible aiming. Should have killed this guy. Um, and that was, yeah, terrible. Learn from that. But I will go back and kill him because that's the way I'm rolling. Uh, he decides to push up here somehow. And uh, I get a little bit lucky. But he is flashed. Good night. Now, here's a drop shot. There's an example of how to uh, effectively pull one off. But once again, staying to this side of the map. Now, right here is a good idea. Always, if there's a guy in last stand and you don't want to risk dying, just chuck a stun grenade, chuck a smoke, uh, kill him that way. Always, always useful. So, we're coming up to the end of this video. I just wanted to put this out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, just a couple of video, you know, a video here showing you guys of how to play kind of launch, an effective class to use if you are struggling. Um, you know, if you stay here, guys, this end of the map, you can see everyone. Um, you know, the other side of the map, I mean, I haven't gone down there really once. And that's purely because everyone can see you, basically, um, and it makes life hard. Very, very hard. And right here, you know, always shoot in bursts, guys. Shoot in bursts. Now right here, I just got boom owned. I tried jumping over, didn't work. So we're coming up to the last minute. I think we've got one example of here of what to do if you see a guy coming around a corner here. Now I see this guy over here. He's got the advantage on me here. I'm not going to beat him. I'm not going to beat him. I'm going to wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. One of my uh, teammates comes in, distracts him. Maybe he's going to come in right now. Right. Now he's under pressure. Now I go. And now I can take him out comfortably. So always wait for reinforcements and take your time. But that's it, guys. Um, the end of the video. Another drop shot of all you there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please let me know uh, if these did help you out. If they didn't, I will try my best maybe next time. Um, but I'm going to whip out a new map next time uh, with different classes and whatnot. Give them a go. Let me uh, know how you get on. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.